Hi guys and welcome back to my studio where I feel I haven't filmed in a long time. So today we'll compare two perfumes and one of them is Mugler's bestseller Angel. Another one is Tom Ford's brand new release Bitter Peach. And to find out where are the similarities and the differences between these two, please keep on watching this video and don't forget to comment down below your experience with them. So hello everyone! I have been wanting to compare these two in a long long time because they have a lot in common. But before we get started with the comparison part, I just wanted to review these separately and do that starting with Bitter Peach. That kinda changed my mind about Iconic Angel that you might remember I passionately hated. So, Bitter Peach, released that it triggered me a lot because, as the name reveals, it is about peach, at least it should be about peach. And when I first saw it online and also the notes break down, everything appealed to me. But in the real life, this bottle is less peachy than it is on the pictures, it's rather orangey. And so does smell this perfume. Less peachy, more orangey. Other than those two notes, there is cardamom, halotrop, rome, cognac, davana, jasmine, sandalwood, patchouli, cashmere, rum, tonka, vanilla, labdanum, styrax, benzoin, and vetiver. So every single note was yes to me personally. There are a bunch of notes that I really enjoy. In the last couple of weeks I've been obsessed with the note of peach. I've even created a top list dedicated to peach perfumes, so in case you missed it, definitely check it out. But in this perfume particularly, peach is not very peachy, it's not very fruity. This perfume is not necessarily very boozy, although I thought that, because in here we have rum and cognac, pretty seriously boozy notes. To me, it is more about one base note, which I will tell you I enjoy a lot, and that is patchouli. When I first tested it, and I wanted to do that before blind buying it, because um, although everything sounded amazing and I thought I will really, really love it, the price tag made me go and smell it before investing into this new release from Tom Ford. And so, for the first time I smelled it, I was extremely reminded of something I've already experienced in my life. And that didn't stop me from buying it, as you've noticed already. But I was reminded of something and that was like, oh, I thought it's gonna be very, very original, like the notes breakdown. So, instead, I thought about a pretty dominant patchouli fragrance, because this fragrance is all about patchouli in the first place to me personally. And in the first moment in the store, I thought of Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, that I personally really love, but later I understood that this patchouli is less warm than Coco Mademoiselle's is, and it's pretty multifaceted. It has a fruity aspect of patchouli and it is also pretty chocolatey at the same time. It is even a little bit earthy and fresh. So all these beautiful notes in this fragrance, they accentuate facets of patchouli, which is beautiful perfume material that adds a lot of texture to the fragrance. And so if you love patchouli, I think you will love bitter peach. It is not very peachy, at least it is not fruity to me personally. There is an abstract spiciness in there, there is slight uh, powdery aspect in the dry down, which I will tell you about a bit more as I move on to Angel, but in the opening you get freshness of top notes and kind of like this dated, slightly rotten peach note and a lot of patchouli right away. The boozy elements, they are very soft, they are delicate, and this perfume has a velvet texture, and all of that is definitely very sexy. But, but you guys, that patchouli made me think, 
think, think and think. What does it remind me of? And I won't lie, took me a while to recognize Angel's DNA in bitter peach. And the moment I understood that that's Angel, that it reminds me of, I was pretty shocked because I am not the fan of Angel. I've already mentioned that a lot of times on my channel, that Angel is the perfume that doesn't work out for me. It's too heavy, it's too cloying, it's too annoying. There are many reasons why I don't like it, although the notes in Angel are pretty cool. Only this Audit to a Lad 2019 version kinda made me understand the hype around Angel because before that I thought how people can like Angel. It is so overwhelming. And this rather modern, rather light, rather carefree version of Angel made me understand why people like this pretty unique fragrance and when it was released I mean like there was nothing quite like it so it was groundbreaking and remains bestseller and signature scent not only for women around the world but also for a lot of men. This perfume is definitely special although it has been reformulated a couple of times but I have here on the blotter or the perfume version that is available in German stores. And so, Bitter Peach and Angel. So, just a couple of words about Angel and I want to talk about Eau de Parfum, alright? So, this is definitely sweet, fruity, patchouli perfume. You get all possible notes in here, starting with cotton candy, coconut and honey as for gourmand notes and then there is a whole bunch of fruity notes such as cassis, melon, mandarin, pineapple, apricot, peach that uh, is also in bitter peach. There are also floral notes more than in the bitter peach because in there we had only jasmine which is not noticeable at all. Maybe it's just there for the balance but in Angel, there is rose, there is orchid, there is um, jasmine as well, but there are also more berry notes such as blackberry and redberry and there is plum, so it's very sensuous. There are also spicy notes, not the cardamom that was in bitter peach, but nutmeg and caraway. And then in the right arm, patchouli that it is known for, and it is quite chocolatey. There is caramel, vanilla, tonka, amber, musk, sandalwood. So you've noticed that there are similarity even in the notes between these two, but as you've also might noticed, Angel features more notes than Bitter Peach and there are also similarities. In Bitter Peach we got the boozy notes, we got the beautiful material Davana that smells boozy and at the same time fresh, green and grassy. So Bitter Peach definitely reminds me of Angel, but if you smell them side by side, they are different. That's for I would recommend Bitter Peach to those who are familiar with Angel and are looking for something in that style, but maybe with focus on other notes, more on fruity citruses or on the sensuous, velvety, patchouli and beautiful touches of spice, powder, wood and sweetness. To me personally, bitter peach is more exciting, particularly for its dry down, but every time I spray it on, I'm reminded of Angel. Angel dries down not into this sexy, musky, very, very modern and beautiful scent like Bitter Peach does, but it has more of shower jelly, berry, fruity kind of vibe, which is also quite lovely. But the dry down is definitely the part these two differ the most. But in the opening, oh my god, let me know if I'm the only one that find these two are very similar. They're not exact dupes, but 
I would say if you are looking for something similar to Angel, you will definitely enjoy Bitter Peach, but if you are not the biggest fan of this perfume, you might still enjoy Bitter Peach. That's four, definitely give it a chance, try it out. It's a beautiful unisex perfume that performs pretty well. It's less aggressive than Angel is, which was my problem with it, so it's not annoying. The sillage of it is beautiful, it lasts a long time, but this is not a monster perfume. It's elegant and it is very winter appropriate because it's still on the patchouli and deeper side. And that was my review slash comparison on Bitter Peach and Angel. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time, check out the description box for more helpful information and comment down below your feedback, which is important to me. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to follow me on my social media and comment below your opinion on Bitter Peach and Angel. Let me know if you notice similarities and if you are interested in some other perfume comparison, just let me know what your request is and I will definitely do that. But I wanted to share with you what I've noticed about these two. And on that note, if there are any questions left, I'm here to answer them. Don't hesitate and contact me whatever your question or feedback is. And thank you so, so much, you guys. Please stay tuned, smell good, and we'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye, guys.